All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, testing objects for properties. So to check if a property on a given object exists or not, we can use the has own property method. Some object dot has own property with uh, some property as the argument returns true or false, depending on if the property is found on the object or not. So for example, we're gonna make this function uh, check for property. It's gonna have object and property as the parameters. And then we're gonna return object. So whatever object we pass into it, uh, dot has own property. And then we're gonna put the property in here to check to see if it's inside the object. Uh, so the check, so when we do the function call check for property, we're going to put this object in it like this with top and hat is the value and then bottom for the property and pants is the value. And we're going to be searching for the property top and tops right here. So it's going to be true, right? Uh, on this one, we've got the same object, but we're searching for middle. But since there's no middle, it's just these two, it's going to be false. All right. So to reiterate, the first check for property function call returns true while the second returns false. So now we're going to modify the function check object to test if the object passed into the function, pardon me, passed to the function parameter object contains the specific property passed to the function parameter check prop, all right? Uh, so basically it's gonna be just like this right here, except for uh, instead of uh, object, it's gonna be obj, and instead of property, it's gonna be check prop, all right? And if the property passed to check prop is found on object, we're going to return that property's value. If not, we'll return not found. So we're going to do an if statement to see if it's in there or not. And then we're going to return um, some strings. We're going to return the property, excuse me, the value if it is, and this string if not. All right. So let's get on. Let's get, let's do it. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so let's start right here. We're going to say if, and then we're going to do obj dot has own property. And then we're going to put, um, oops, we're going to put uh, check prop in here, check prop. So it's going to be just like this uh, object dot has own property, property like that. So since this is all, this is, <clears throat> pardon me. So since this is going to be a Boolean, no matter what, according to this, we don't have to say equals true or anything like that. All we have to do is say, uh, if this is true, what we're going to do is return. What are we going to do? Object. And then we're going to have the uh, brackets and we're going to say check prop. All right. So that will return whatever property it is. And then we'll come down here and say, if not, We'll just do return the string not found like that. All right. And let me put some semicolons on. I always forget to do this. Uh, so there we go. Right. Right. Like that. And then we'll come down here and we'll say console dot log. And then we'll do the check obj. And then inside of. Pardon me. Inside of these parentheses, we're going to just put uh, this stuff right here. We'll put this uh, object and then looking for this property top. And you see right here, it gives us hat because it's going to give us the value hat. And then let's just change this to middle right here. And you see it says not found because it's not found. All right. So let's uh, run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to manipulating complex objects and we'll see you next time.